Senate Bill 80 was an important piece of legislation uh, that we passed this year that's going to impact a lot of people. But I think most customers, most people who buy pseudofedrin won't even know it. Uh, what we've done is we've come up with a way uh, to attack meth production in the state of Indiana without requiring uh, patients or clients to get a prescription for pseudoephedrine. Uh, for several years, pseudoephedrine has already been behind the counter at your local pharmacy by state law, uh, and it's an essential ingredient to making methamphetamine. Meth cooks simply have to have it. Uh, we've had a meth registry or a pseudoephedrine registry where when you buy it, your name goes on a list because there's a legal limit to how much one person can buy in a certain amount of time. But our meth cooks have gotten around this by hiring people, and we call them Smurfs. Uh, they hire these Smurfs to go in for $50 a piece and to buy the legal limit of pseudoephedrine, and that way they get enough pseudoephedrine uh, to make their methamphetamine. Uh, sadly, Indiana has led the nation in meth lab arrests for the last three years in a row, and so we absolutely have to do something about this. Uh, now, law enforcement wanted us to make a pseudoephedrine a prescription only, which would definitely have solved that problem. Members of the public were just as adamant that they didn't want to have to make a doctor's appointment, wait for that appointment, wait in line at the doctor's office, pay their deductible, pay their copay, uh, just because they have a cold or an allergy. And so what we have here, I think, is an elegant solution to address both of those concerns. Uh, from now on, uh, a pharmacist will have the discretion of whether to sell someone pseudoephedrine or not. If you've been a customer of that pharmacy, if you have a relationship with that pharmacy, business should go on just like it always has. If you haven't had a relationship with that pharmacy uh, and you can't answer some questions about why you want the dose that you want, for instance, uh, the pharmacist can offer you meth-resistant medicines. We have two of those that have pseudoephedrine in them, but they're harder to make into meth. Or we have small packs of pseudofed that should be enough to get you through three days at maximum dose. Uh, so you should be able to get the medicine that you've always taken uh, or a reasonable alternative. Uh, and if you have a cold or an allergy, you'll be able to deal with that. Uh, and if you don't have a cold or allergy and can't explain why it is that you want pseudoephedrine, uh, you may be out of luck. Uh, but given Indiana's history uh, with meth labs, I think that might be a good thing.